So there are a couple different ways to use bronzer and here are some tips on how to use it properly. When it comes to bronzers, you can either choose matte or something with a little bit of shimmer. Uh, I actually have both. Today I'm gonna show you how to use First, how to use the shimmer with a stippling brush in a more natural way. So the stippling brush basically just dissipates the amount of uh, color that you're applying because it starts thick and then thins out at the top. So I'm gonna start by applying where sun would naturally hit the forehead, right up top here. This one has a really nice golden undertone. It's gonna give her just like a nice sun-kissed look but not be too heavy. When I'm doing this look, it's definitely gonna be not so much for contouring, just more for uh, giving yourself a little bit of glow if you feel too pale or you just want a little more color. So I'm gonna do the tops of the cheekbone here. You don't wanna go too far into this area. I'd say stop about here. And another rule of thumb is just kind of like two fingertips away. And I'm doing the top of the cheekbone because once again, like I said, at the top of the forehead, sun comes down and hits here. It also comes down and hits this part of the face here. And I'll also, for this kind of look, bronze the top of the nose. And I'm also gonna bring it down. I just like to get, do a little sweeping right on the chin because when you're bronzing, you don't want your face to look different than your neck. And I'll kind of blend it downwards like this. So this is really simple, just a little bit of color. You really don't wanna use bronzer all over the entire face, it gets pretty monotonous and kind of dull. So using it in these couple directional areas, I like to think of making a three on the face or an E, just kind of like this. That's just a real simple tool and just a little tap on top of the nose. So the next trick is gonna be a little more for contouring. I'm using a matte bronzer and a brush that is tapered. So it goes a little bit thinner so I can really get that like nice contoured look here. So I'm gonna start at the cheekbone. Maddie, if you could just go perfect. If it's hard for you to tell where underneath the cheekbone is, you just kind of do this ugly little fishy face. <laughs> but not that Maddie could ever look ugly. Here we go. All right, and you can relax. Thank you. So just kind of to get that first little tip. And it might look intense at first because I'm using such a pointed brush and also bronzer that's a little more concentrated in color, but we're gonna blend it, so no worries. And also it really makes the bronzer look more believable when you apply blush and highlighter. But right now we're just focusing on the bronzer. Once again, you wanna follow the two fingertip rule away from the outside of the mouth. You don't want the bronzer coming too far in. And with this type of bronzer, you definitely wanna make sure that you're blending. So the next tip I have is we're gonna go to the temple right about here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. This just kind of slims the face inwards, creates a nice contrast too of the cheekbone between the lower contour and we would put highlight here and then a little bit of contour again right here kind of brings it in this way. And we're gonna continue to sweep this up to the top of the forehead. Another cool tip for a little more of a like contour type of bronze would be to keep kind of like we did on the other side, but bring it down and do it even more dramatic here. And on more of a contour type bronze, instead of doing the bronzer on the top of the nose, you would take it and do it on the side like this and kind of blend it downwards. This is a tricky spot. You really don't want to do too much here. All right, and that is how to bronze properly.